Hey guys, I've had a question from uh, Abdul Razak, cool name. Um, how or why use the option create button? Please make a video for this, right? So no problem. I use. I'll show you how I use it for the first time. I'll show you a little bit into my CRM. So when I go to contacts, and then I'll find me. I've actually I've got to fix it, so it's a good time to show it because I moved my training site from paulnicholson.com to training.paulnicholson.com. So what I've got when somebody signs up for my training, I send a Zapier Zapier link that imports that detail to my um, to my CRM and puts their student number in there, and I use Zoho Connect for my social network, and it, uh, when I in, when that person enrolls. The same person with the email in roles, then I get a connect ID. So what I've got is up here, student info, Twitter and connect profile, right? So what that is, this jumps me right into that student's information within my website, but I've got to change it. So it's a good time to change. Now, if it says uh, on the connect profile, it jumps me to my Zoho connect profile and I can see that person Whoever I'm looking at, I can see straight into their profile uh, and see what they've been up to within my training course, within my um, social network, right? Um, so, what do you do? First, I'll edit this one because this one's wrong, right? Because at the moment, it's pointing at paulnicholson.com, admin users, right? But I need it to change it. So, uh, manage buttons, and I'm going to go student info and edit, right? So what this button does is I've put here invoke invoke a URL. So what I've done here is paulnicholson.com admin user. Then I put in that field and then the final information. So I drop in a field which I've picked from over here, which is student number, which is a custom field that I've added for my um, for my training. So there, look, student student number. So I just add that in. Now this URL is currently wrong, so I'm going to change it to training.paulnicholson.com and save it. So now when I go back to my contacts, I find me jump up to student info. Now it jumps me straight into my website for that student info. If I wanted to say what courses is this person enrolled in, then the, the ending is changed. So I could copy this. So I could do, so let's do create a button. I'm gonna call it uh, courses enrolled. Where would you like it to be? Where do we like to place the view page, edit page and the view page, right? So you can make it so when it's in a different area, but it's in the view page of that detail. Invoke a URL. I'm going to paste in that URL and this is the student number, but obviously that changes for everybody. So that's where I've got to drop in that information. So I'm going to delete that and leave my cursor flashing in between those two lines. Go down, it was near the bottom, wasn't it? Student number. So it drops in that custom field data there. Then I click save. And courses enrolled, look. Open in a new tab. And it's gonna jump straight to courses enrolled for that person. If I did it for another contact, I'm trying to, I don't wanna, I don't usually show you my contacts. Um, I don't think YouTube test. So this one's got a different number, but I think I've deleted that that uh, account within. It was just a test. So if I go here, it would go, but it wouldn't show information because it's not enrolled. So that number changes to whatever's there. So that's what I use it for. It's same again. If um, I haven't got any, I haven't got a Twitter link there, have I? Um, when I first started, I wanted to contact people on Twitter and just, you know, follow them. So if, if I see up there, it says Twitter. Uh, da, 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 da. Where's Twitter? Twitter's moved, it's over here, right? So when I put in my Twitter, 
you can obviously just click on there for Twitter, or you can I can just bump jump up here and click Twitter. So that is just an example of what you'd um, what you'd use create a button for. You know, you could change it so it can jump to whatever. Um, what else there is when you go to when you go to edit there to manage is is you can add these links down here as well. So student information. This is going to be wrong again, right? Yeah, so I need to change that as well. So these are the links. When it says uh, in the module, so how you get there, you go set up modules, contacts, uh, and then links and buttons. So the links are the bottom left-hand corner, and the buttons are in the top. So if I go to student information, which is wrong, oh, don't delete it, edit it, and again, here's that information that needs to be training.paulnicholson.com same as this student progress training so what I've done is just created quick links really quick buttons when I go to uh, Paul Nicholson these this is these are the links these are the links that you can add and if I go to student information now it's going to jump straight to it and student progress jump straight to it so you can do almost anything you want with it you know once you've got the data if um so i don't know what else you would use you might want to jump to the financing i'm not gonna do that on this button but you might want to jump to that customer's id in your in zoho books or or subscriptions jump into that link but all you need to do is if you've got a link where only a certain um character changes so my student information I just drop that student info number in and I can change it and point to wherever I want so I hope that makes it sense and I hope that makes sense as to what you're trying to do uh, it's just basically a quick shortcut isn't it to getting something done that you want to get done faster that you do a lot if you do something a lot then you want to create a little button that does it for you cool